the 2.5 is really um, a new corner for us. Uh, we've had 2.01 out. The one that you downloaded has actually been out there tr tested, tried and true uh, since the beginning of the year. We're going to simplify things quite a bit and this just shows the methods, some of the objects that are involved here. But um, for example, call manager, we're introducing this third party call control feature which allows you to bridge a call between your device and another device or between two devices. And we want to find a way to leverage the existing make call method, but um, it was getting a little too uh, big and there were too many methods going on there. So what we decided to do was simplify it and call it dial. And it's going to be able to handle, you're going to be able to pass that basically an array which says call this device only or call this device and this device. Once we enable conference calling, call this app, this device, this app, this device, and so on and so forth. So we're kind of making it a little bit more extensible. Everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, yeah? Thank you. Um, contacts is going to get, and messaging are going to get a little bit more simplified as well. So contacts, what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate get contacts. Um, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to eliminate the way that get contacts works where you can only uh, do 100 at a time. So you don't have to worry about looping through. What we're going to do is we're going to have a single get contacts method that's going to pull in uh, that's going to handle the looping for you. It's going to be built into the SWIC. So it's going to cache everything for you. And then when you do get contact, you're not actually making a server call. You're calling within the client. The client's going to return to you within your cache, your, your, your contacts list that's been loaded, uh, give you the index of that contact, and then you can access all their information from there. So it's going to do that. And one of the reasons we find that advantageous, as you see in some of the components, is we have this type ahead piece, but we also have um, way, you know, when, when someone calls you, uh, you know, if your contacts are already all loaded, you better, uh, you, you'll be able to see who's calling, you'll be able to see their photo. It just enables a lot more functional things. Um, message manager, similar thing where we're going to be leveraging um, one call, which is get call logs, and get call logs will go and fetch all your call logs. Yes? Yeah, so um, that's actually not going to be exposed right off, but that's going to, if you didn't notice, our um, contact details object, which I showed like really early on today, was huge. It had like 50 properties. There's sort of a, um, a common property set that a lot of the Web 2.0, um, uh, you know, database, LinkedIn, Plaxo and such, they have similar contact uh, properties, and so we use those. Uh, basically to be compatible with other systems. So Plex is probably going to be the first ones that you can actually sync uh, with, and that'll be something that'll ultimately be coming in the 2.5 branch. Uh, not yet, but we're definitely gearing up for that. Um, that's a good question. So um, Plaxo already has APIs that, you know, they, very, they support very well, and fairly easy to do the sync up there. But open social, Facebook, LinkedIn, we're really trying to prepare for all that stuff. Um, and then, of, of course, you know, once we have our community component exchange up, you know, developers who write a library that queries those and uploads them into uh, Ribbit, that, that'll be very welcome. Let the community uh, help us do some of that work. Um, messaging. Uh, similar, as I said, that's going to cache things to get call log. And then when you search, uh, get call logs, when you search for a message specifically, it'll just look within your own, uh, your own cache and it won't make another server call. So we think that's a really big optimizing thing. 
You'll, it looks like there's additional methods here, but it's really not. Um, what we're doing is we're just spelling out that if you want to play a message or stop a message versus when you're playing a recording that you're doing, uh, different things like that. I think it's just making it much, much easier. Um, what else can I show you here? Uh, contact, call log, those are specific objects. Um, I think, you know, that, that covers the main stuff. Yeah? What's at the current API that's not there? Is it, is it, is, uh, was it like uh, get, uh, get end contacts or something where we're returning 100 and taking... Yeah, that's get, the get contact, that's the main difference is get t contacts and get call logs now, today when you code those. And we have the code samples that kind of do it for you. But today you can only call 100 at a time. Load 100 times, so you have to loop through. Um, yes, right now it does. And there's a start index as well. So basically, as you're looping through, you, 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 uh, right now in the example there that get all voicemails in the code samples, yeah. you call, it, it already does this for you. It shows you how, to, how it works. It calls get user summary. Uh, from that, you get total voicemail, and from that, you loop through and get call logs uh, as many times as you need to pull them all in. But we're going to do that at the SWIC level with 2.5, so that's one of the main differences. So um, I think that, I mean, covers the fundamental things where we're changing some things that, you know, that the support will be very good. Um, we're just really trying to evolve it, and the reason why I wanted to show you, I would really encourage, this isn't going to be out there for probably a couple of months, so I would really encourage you to get into 201 now, get the code samples. All the stuff we showed you this morning is going to remain valid for that time, and it's going to get you set up to uh, pursue both paths of either enterprise app development or building for Amphibian. But then when 2.5 comes out, uh, we'll, we'll be putting up a lot of video content, probably having another spawn. Uh, by the way, this one um, is going to be cut up and available online, so you'll be able to review material from today's event.